Matush. All right, welcome back everyone. Hopefully your day went well today. Lots of sunshine in the viewing area. A few clouds popping up, but the main story is just a lovely day outside. Uh, there's I-70 in the background. Our West Topeka camera showing, uh, again, lots of sunshine in the area. Camera switching views right there, keeping an eye on some uh, low-level cumulus clouds a little bit further to the west with our Clay Center camera and just a light breeze evident in the viewing area. All right, satellite and radar watching from above. We have a weak cold front here, very misleading because you think a drop in temperatures, things like that. It just doesn't have a lot of force behind it. It's not really packing a big punch, but it is bringing a few clouds to the central portion of the state and a few isolated sprinkles, but really nothing uh, too much more than that. As far as a more regional view goes, we are seeing limited activity pretty much for the entire state. A few showers up north in Nebraska, a few thunderstorms in Oklahoma, and a few thunderstorms on the east side of Colorado. Some of that energy will make its way into western Kansas over the next few days, but things just kind of die down by the time they get to our neck of the woods. Temperatures are in the 70s and 80s, 81 in Emporia, 84 in Concordia, 83 for Manhattan and Junction City. Winds are pretty light right now, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Out of the east, winds are expected to remain pretty calm over the next couple of days. Now, as far as temperatures go, we should be waking up with a bit of a variety tomorrow. Upper 40s possibly in Lawrence, lower 60s uh, possibly out near the Concordia Clay Center area. Otherwise, upper 50s near Manhattan. And then for the afternoon, we notice those warmer temperatures still hanging out near Concordia and Clay Center. A little bit cooler by Holton, Topeka and Osage, lower 80s looking likely for a good majority of us. And then Sunday, we kind of do it all over again, although this time just a little bit warmer, middle to upper 80s as we begin to wrap up the weekend. And then, of course, Memorial Day is on Monday and we are watching a slight chance for a few showers. Winds are out of the east about 5 to 10 miles an hour overnight. Nothing too concerning tomorrow afternoon. Lots of sunshine 5 to 10 miles an hour. All right, let's break down our rain chances. Here's what we're watching. Future track showing a few clouds out west tonight, but otherwise mostly clear across the viewing area. Saturday, mostly sunny skies, a few clouds out west. And then the rain chances start to come late Sunday for the west side of the viewing area. And then Monday, perhaps a little bit better chance for some showers and isolated storms. And then we're going to skip a few days here, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, even beyond just isolated storm and rain chances start to pop up. These will be hit or miss chances. Nothing too widespread expected until maybe Friday where models are coming into a bit of better agreement that a maybe more potent system could be coming through. Tonight, though, clear skies taking over 80s drop into the 70s, 60s and eventually 50s. A little bit cooler for some of us tonight, lower 50s overnight. And then heading into the weekend, hey, it's Memorial Day weekend. We're watching lower 80s, mostly sunny skies. Monday, Memorial Day, middle to upper 80s. It should be quite warm. Don't let that 20% scare you too much. It's still a few days out. We'll know more as we get closer. And then really the next week, isolate storm chances almost every day. But Mackenzie, these are hit or miss chances. Okay, but yeah. the rain can cool it down a little bit, so it's yeah. not going to be like a scorching 90. No, I don't think so. Okay. It'll be hopefully refreshing. Okay. Well, Optimistically. Humidity? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. That comes back with those storm yeah. chances. Yeah, very true. And it is going to be June by then. It is. So. Just around the corner. Yes. Thank you, Ryan. Of course. A recent study finds 